you grew up in a Nigerian household, you would agree with me that akara served with hot pap was a staple every weekend. In fact, I don't think that the weekend would be complete or considered complete if we didn't serve akara and pap on a Saturday morning. I know that in my house it was a staple and everyone literally would look forward to it. From peeling the beans to separating the skin from the beans and then driving or walking a mile or two to the market to blend the beans because we didn't have a blender in the house at the time all of those memories just have come back just flushing in and for me to be honest with you akara is actually one of my favorite things to enjoy but as i grew older i realized that frying beans or frying beans batter in oil which is what we call akara is actually very not so healthy let me put it that way because of the deep frying of the beans batter in the oil i mean we all know that frying food in too much oil is not a very healthy thing to do and I am not about to give up all of those beautiful childhood memories that I had um, with the Akara serving every weekend. So, in my usual fashion, <laughs> I found a healthy way to enjoy Akara without necessarily frying it in a lot of oil. In fact, I have quite a number of recipes from baking it in the oven to what I'm about to share with you today. So today I'm going to share with you how to make Akara pancakes with a twist. This way you get to enjoy the goodness called Akara without frying it in too much oil. And that's definitely not all. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually make your custard a whole lot more nutritious by adding a few things. You would have to stay tuned, keep your eyes glued to the screen so they can find out exactly what I'm going to be doing because it's very, very interesting. So without further ado, let's get started with this Akara pancake making action. And then later on, I'll show you how you can add a healthy twist to your custard. I have all of my ingredients here for the Akara pancakes ready to go. Now, like I said, this Akara pancake is a lot different because I'm going to be infusing a lot of vegetables into the mix. We'll add some to the batter and then we'll save some for the topping and then i'm also going to be adding an egg to make things nice and fluffy and then of course some pepper some garlic some onions for that oniony flavor so that's all of the ingredients prepped and ready to go let's get right into the cooking action shall we i'm excited for this one <laughs> Okay, so because I said that this Akara pancakes has a twist, we're going to be adding some vegetables to things. So what I'm going to start by doing first of all is saute or stir fry the vegetables to get them nice and soft, just slightly soft, and then to build up some flavor with the vegetables. If healthy eating is of importance to you, then this recipe is one that you should definitely add to your repertoire of healthy recipes. I promise you it's another game changer, okay? So I'm just going to start by sprinkling some oil in the pan and then I'll just tossing all of the vegetables into the pan. Starting with the onion, I have the yellow, green and red bell pepper here. I'm also going to add some fresh pepper to this and then let's not forget the carrots. Then I'll season this up with just one claw, season cube and a tiny sprinkle of salt. Beans is actually a high protein ingredient but it also contains a lot of carbohydrates. It's important to just add a lot of fiber to the dish just so that you are balancing things out and then you have a well-balanced diet, okay? Pretty much, I'm going to step fry this for two, three minutes just to get it nice and soft, okay? It totally makes all of the difference in this recipe. Look at how colorful and vibrant the vegetables are looking. Okay, so you wanna be careful not to overcook the vegetables. You just barely want them nice and soft. And I think that as soon as you can already perceive the beautiful aroma of the vegetables, you can stop. So I think this is fine now. The next thing I'm gonna do is place my washed beans in the blender. If you want to achieve very fluffy looking akara or fluffy textured akara, whether you are making akara pancakes or you're deep frying it in the oil, just ensure that after washing your beans and peeling out the skin, you soak the beans in water for uh, at least 30 minutes. It makes all the difference. So I have all the beans pieces in there. Next, I'm going to add fresh onions into this, so garlic and the scotch bonnet pepper. And then I'm going to add half of the vegetables that I sauteed earlier into the blender as well. Trust me on this one, guys. It's a total, total game changer. And then I'm gonna grab some water, just a little bit of water into the blender. That's fine. I'll cover this up and give this a blend. Now, I'm gonna blend this first and then after blending for about maybe 20 seconds or until it's pureed, then I'll crack open the eggs in the blender. And then I'm gonna blend again. This time I'll blend for much longer 
because I want to incorporate a lot of air into the batter. It's important that your akara batter is nice and very airy because that's what's going to give it that fluffy soft effect or soft texture. Okay, so I think I'm, oof, this is soft, smooth, nice and just perfect i gotta show you guys what it looks like look at how nice and smooth because i remembered that i didn't add any seasonings i was supposed to add the one knorr while it was blending but i totally forgot so i'll just ensure that it's perfectly crumbled in here and then i would also add a sprinkle of salt but it's better to add it when you're blending okay so that everything just blends up nicely and is well mixed okay so what i'm gonna do is just give this a good mix just to combine everything together oh this looks really nice looks lush looks smooth and i love it and what i love about this recipe is the fact that it actually even doesn't take time at all and you can also achieve this recipe with the beans flour as well if that's what you have i have the other the remaining half of the vegetables I'm going to add a little bit into the beans and then save some for topping up the beans as I'm making the, the pancake, okay? That you see how colorful and beautiful that looks. Definitely takes it to a whole new level. And of course, you can literally taste the beautiful aromatic flavor of the vegetables when you taste the beans batter. And you can imagine what it will taste like after making the pancakes. I already have my pan heating up on medium heat. I'm going to just spray a little bit of oil just to coat the pan i'll use a measuring cup just so that i'm getting exact roundness and then i'll just gently place the akara butter in the pan in tiny little bits okay this is definitely going to be a recipe that everyone would love before i go ahead to cover up the pan i'm just going to put some of the vegetables just right on top just to add a pop of color to the akara pancake and i'm just going to cover up the pan covering up the pan will let the steam trap stay trapped in the pot and that's what's would ensure that the pancakes are cooked through or rather the butter is cooked through and you you won't end up eating raw beans okay so it's important that you're doing this on very low heat we'll give it about three to four minutes to brown on one side then we'll open up the pan flip it to the other side and allow it to brown again for another three to four minutes and you see how perfect it looks so we we'll just try and press it down and then cover up the pan again and allow it to brown on the other side until it is perfectly cooked okay it's been another three minutes on the other side oh this looks good oh yeah it's perfectly brown on the other side as you can see i'm just gonna take it out and place it right on the plate if you use this exact method or the recipe that i have shared with you and then you're covering the pot nicely you definitely would have very well cooked akara pancakes that are still very nice soft and very fluffy this smells looks and definitely will taste absolutely divine look at that beauty over there <laughs> anyways um let's just get started with the cost so i told you about um pap being the perfect accompaniment for akara on a saturday morning right but i have grown up falling in love with custard instead of pap and one way that i'm able to make my pap more nutritious and have it have all of the healthy goodness is to incorporate some yogurt into it so i'm going to be adding some meat and cake greek yogurt into the pap into the custard and then i'll be topping it up with some fruit and you guys will see what i do so it's just pretty much the same thing, the same way you make your custard. You just dissolve a little bit of custard in water, right? Just like so. I really love the yellow color of the custard. It's just so beautiful and gorgeous. So while the water is coming up to a boil in this black bowl here, I'm going to dissolve some peach and K Greek yogurt. This is going to help make the custard very creamy add some good probiotics in there for the guts add some good protein in there as well trust me on this one guys it's total game changer and no it's not the same thing as adding milk there's a lot more nutrients contained in the greek yogurt okay because i mean it's already been fermented it has all the good bacteria that your gut your gut health needs so i'm just going to dissolve that until it's 
slightly runny but it's still a little bit thick you can use a whisk to make it extra smooth just like this, this is exactly the consistency that you want okay so what i'm gonna do next is i'll set this up to the side and then afterwards you have to ensure that you're using very boiling water i'll just pour the water and as i pour the water i'm gonna keep stirring continuously until the custard has solidified Ooh, look at that beautiful yellow color then you just keep mixing everything together to combine until it is nice and smooth okay if you continue mixing as you're adding the water you don't have to worry so much about um, the custard developing lumps usually it always comes out smooth so just keep going and i'd advise that you don't add a lot of water so that you can still have very thick custard because when we put in the meat and cake grit you got now it will lighten up the custard and make it slightly runny so you want to ensure that the custard is still slightly thick after mixing it in some hot water okay this is looking so beautiful and smooth and i absolutely love it now at this point you can choose to add sugar or honey or whatever your heart desires but because we're keeping things nice and healthy i usually just do the meat and cake greek yogurt and i find that it actually i don't really need any more sugar for it because well naturally i'm not a sweet tooth but if you're a sweet tooth please go ahead and add some sugar now is the time to throw in the meat and k greek yogurt into the custard now also note that this will definitely change the color of the custard and of course the consistency as well Oof, look at that guys look at how creamy and gorgeous this looks you can see how it has changed the color to a lighter shade of yellow so this is all mixed and well combined now to make for an even neater presentation i'm going to bring in a clean plate and then i'm gonna transfer the custard right into the plate look at that guys that definitely looks like something that i would love to devour and partake of <laughs> so you can pretty much top this with some fruits usually what i like to do is put some of my favorite fruits like an apple or blueberries or strawberries on top of it and then you can also add some nuts and pretty much the custard and the akara pancakes are ready to be devoured now this definitely still reminds me of saturday mornings in my household i don't know about you the aroma in the air literally also smells exactly the same way like you would fry the akara in oil look at that for me this actually even looks way better <laughs> than the akara butter that's fried in a lot of oil so yeah and just for effect i want to just tear open the pancake to let you know how soft it is it's actually very fluffy it's soft it's nice and it's perfectly cooked remember to please close the pot or the pan you're using with a lid so that it can cook through in all honesty there's no difference between this right and the akara that you fried in a lot of oil I'm telling you for free so if you are trying to stay away from a lot of oil you want to control the amount of oil you eat or the amount of oil you consume definitely try this oil free akara recipe you would definitely love it and the addition of vegetables just also takes it up many many notches that's it from me for today's episode i hope you have learned a thing or two if you have please do not forget to subscribe to the channel join the family if you haven't and then of course share this video with your family and friends so they can learn how to make something new as well if you've been requesting this recipe please don't forget to take pictures and tag me on the socials especially instagram because i truly really love to see your creations it warms up my heart so dearly and it makes me so freaking happy okay i'll see you again with another mouth-watching and delicious recipe until then remember to be very kind to one another love yourselves generously and it's me the queen of fun and fast cooking signing out right now take care